we got internet Wi-Fi here. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's the best place we can hear. <laughs> We're here in Denizli, and I just feel like this place has a has a different kind of energy. Look at that sky. That is the prettiest sky ever. We're here. <sighs> Looks like they have different jacuzzis. That is one big pool. Time to get good rest for another busy day tomorrow. I loved energy in Istanbul, which was busy and vibrant, but Denizli was quiet and peaceful, and the air felt fresh. Seems like it's gonna be a beautiful day as well. Supposedly back then, people would travel weeks and weeks just to use the springs for healing. It looks like a snowy mountain, doesn't it? Welcome to Hidia Pulis, an ancient city located in the hot springs. Thousands of years ago, this used to be a thriving community. Today, it's all ruins. It feels like we're the only ones here. I love this. I'm just trying to imagine what it was like here 2,000 years ago. Can you imagine the amount of people who sat in this theater thousands of years ago? One of the apostles, Philip, is actually buried up there. Alright, what I've been looking most forward to, let's check out the hot springs. If you're wondering why it's white, it's because of the calcium deposits. There's actually a lot of calcium in the water. Ah, that's so good! Oh. Some parts of the floor is a little rough. So, uh, for the first time, we're like, it feels so good to wear shoes. Makes you think, like, every day we just take shoes for granted. And there's so many people that are less fortunate than us. Mm -hmm. I can't even afford a pair of shoes. Approaching the archaeological Hirapuli Museum. Oh, I like this one. This one's like, what is life? This is from the Bronze Age. Looks pretty intricate, actually. The currency from back then actually doesn't look that much different to the currency we have today, right? If there was an animal that represents the Nisli, it would be the rooster because they have their own breed. Hello, you pimp. I bet you get all the chicks. Literally. Over here, as you can see, is kind of like an ancient graveyard where um, a lot of people come to be buried. After walking and seeing graves, we're now, <laughs> we're, we're now stuck with no transport. And no shade. And no shade. We're gonna die here. No! No! This is the perfect place! No! <laughs> This is the Northern Roman Gate. Legend has it that Cleopatra, Queen Cleopatra back then, was losing her looks. She sent soldiers far and wide to look for special healing water. And so they fought back the water from here and she noticed that it made her more beautiful. So eventually she came down herself and bathed in this water. You can see the ancient Romans are still here. Yeah, it must be really, really refreshing. The crew thought it would be a good idea for me to try this miracle water, so <laughs> off I did. Lindy filling up clear patches of pool water. Try it, Lindy! Okay, so it wasn't what I imagined it would taste like, but it makes sense since it's full of minerals and calcium. Good for you. That face! I feel more beautiful! Wait. I feel more Wait. beautiful! No wonder they call it the Cotton Castle because it looks so fluffy. Turkey are famous for their carpets and Denise is actually quite well known for their textiles. So of course we're gonna come here today to check out how they are. Some of the women working there are probably twice my age and yet their hand and eye coordination is amazing. Did I mention that they work row by row? This carpet takes three years to complete years well. Well, yeah, the number of them. Three years to complete a carpet. I look at carpets completely differently now. I make carpet. Yeah. Not only are their carpets meant to be very intricate, they actually do a double knot rather than one. It takes longer, but the quality is much better. A lot of the carpets that you saw <laughs> are like the price of a car. This one is Poison? more than $200,000. Dollars. dollars. Yep, you did not hear wrong. This is worth $200,000. Look how intricate it is and the size. So you imagine how many knots is made in this piece of art. Sims popular, but then wait, wait. Like me too. Laodicea. Laodicea. This, is. this was another very wealthy city, but because it got struck by so many earthquakes, eventually it got abandoned. 
this city actually had one of the seven churches that was mentioned in the book of um, Revelations. I bet lots and lots and lots of people walked up this temple back then. It truly felt like I went back in time. Good morning! Last night after a jam-packed day, I went out into the thermal water and it was so good guys. I swear I woke up and my skin felt like it was glowing. It gets a little chilly in the morning. I reckon it's going to be nice to dip the feet in. You can actually see the steam coming out so this stuff is hot. <laughs> Not a bad way to start your morning, right? Feet and a nice hot spring and a beautiful view. This restaurant is within a 700 year old building. He's so cute! He's only two weeks old. We're ready to go paragliding! The closest I'll ever be to flying. Or we go paragliding, of course. We need some signing to do. It's almost like signing your life away. It's pretty high so far. Wow! Wow! We did it, guys. We survived. A little shaky, but we did it! We're off to grab some lunch by the waterfall. So, party, that's really nice. You would think fish with cheese and tomatoes is a weird combo but this is delicious guys look how blue the water is our last thing to do is to catch the sunset and Denise we made it we're in time just sitting with everybody perfect way to end a great trip Denise I'm gonna miss you and your beautiful scenery and your gorgeous sunsets. Of course, I'm gonna miss my dear friends that I met on this trip and the delicious food. We have been anticipating this lounge. Supposedly, it's pretty great. Oh my gosh, this may be the coolest lounge I've ever seen. Ooh, oh my goodness, does that go in, honey? Is that a mirror? That's... That's not a mirror. That's not a mirror. Are you serious? That's the cinema room. That is a cinema room in there, guys. What the? There's like all the channels you can watch, all the TV you can watch, all the food you can have, freshly made. You can play like a virtual pudding thing. Why did they give me such a fast car? Alright. I'll wait for you. <laughs> what sort of lounge has a lift? Then he's looking for the shower room. I'm oh, like sweaty, so I'm gonna take a shower. All the business lounges that we've been to usually just give you like some tea and some sandwiches. And here there's different cuisines. I got chicken soup and Turkish pizza. And the wife is asleep. So this is when Tim decides to vlog all of that food that I missed. Man, I missed my last cup of tea as well! I want to say a big thank you to Turkish Airlines and Turkey Home for such a memorable trip. I used to think Turkey was all about the social nightlife, but it's way more than that. It's got lots of heritage, the culture is amazing, people are wonderful, the food is delicious, lots to see. It's been such a great adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed following Tim and I to Turkey. For now, it's back to reality. If you guys would like to see more of Turkey, then don't forget to check out my friends' videos to check out what they got up to.